We're checking out the worst reviews from the top solar panel installation companies in America. I'm looking at Sunrun, Tesla, Freedom Forever, and Titan. So I'm gonna go run, jump on Google, sort by lowest. Let's start there. I have not read through these reviews. This will help you understand how not to get screwed over when getting solar panels and how to go about the bidding process. This is a helpful video. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and reference the different resources below. The list of what they did during our installation was awful. Everything from not having permits for the inspection, failed inspection, to the last straw on the camel's back that made me write this review. This customer goes on to explain. The sales rep comes in and says, hey, here's a system. It's an 85% offset system. It's probably enough. If you need more, just call us up. We'll add a few more panels and we'll roll it into your loan. We got you. Customer got to the summer months. AC's run and heavy. Their 85% annual offset system set up in the summer probably was less than 50% of their usage. <laughs> so they call up the solar company, they say, hey, you want more solar panels? And they said, hey, sorry, we can't give you any more. There's something to learn here, whether you have panels or you're getting panels. If the sales rep tells you that this is less than a 100% offset, you need to be a little bit leery. There's two different offsets. There's a annual usage offset, and there's also a financial offset. This stuff gets complicated depending on who's your power company, but you need to be careful because if you're getting a loan or something for these solar panels and this system covers 80 to 90% of your usage, that might be only 50% of your summer electricity bill. So next, Tesla. I made a horrible mistake of getting solar panels from SolarCity slash Tesla. Through their faulty installation, I now have to have my roof repaired and they told me that they're not liable. This is an interesting one. So they're talking, the solar panel system itself did not leak. They actually had a vent on the roof that leaked. What solar panel installers will do a lot of times is they will cut off pipe vents that are in the way so they can fit a panel over top of it rather than moving it or gapping it. It's a common practice. A lot of solar installers do it. Here's the problem. Um, I've seen these leak. If you cut or disturb a turtle vent or a pipe vent or any vents on the roof. There's a lot of different things that can happen that can ultimately cause your roof to leak there. So if you know you had a vent and it was covered up by solar panels or you have a vent and panels are gonna be laid out around it, I, I would check that out. I would check out your attic, I would check out your roof because that actually is a very common problem. All right, next up we got Freedom Forever. Once again, Mesa, Arizona office. Let's see, let's go to the lowest reviews. Oh, this is a long one. Company sent text message late on the day before they decided they would be doing the installation without having ever secured approval for the site layout. Personally contacted the schedule the next morning before any installation had been done, received the schematics of the proposal proposed layout and told them I was it was totally unacceptable. <laughs> I I'm sorry for laughing at your misfortune if you're watching this. Um that that is a nightmare for installers and the homeowner. Customer gets a text message late at night. Hey, we're gonna install your panels tomorrow. They're like, well, what panels, where? Nobody's talked to me about this, don't do it. They go to work, they come home from work, they have panels on their roof. All north facing, no east or west. This is, this is tough because as a solar installer, you know, you're getting your schedule, you have jobs to get done, you have to finish them or it throws off the whole schedule. You show up, nobody's home. There was a lot of mistakes that were made here. Most of them, I would say, are bad communication. Oh man, that's crazy. So if you're getting panels, make sure to look at the design, the permit pack, and approve it before it's installed. Next, we have Titan. So Titan actually has a four-star average with 731 reviews in Arizona. I, I have to point that out. Horrible solar company. They started installing in October and didn't pass the county inspection. Waiting months for them to come back and fix for the inspection. It's almost June now and we still aren't 100% installed and turned on. During the first part of the installation, they knocked out uh, our duct to our AC, reached out and they said they had someone come out to fix it the next day. No one came. We called and they didn't return our phone messages. 95 degrees outside and we don't have AC um, and it doesn't seem like anybody cares. This is crazy. Their AC has been off. It's summer. It's hot. They're an elderly couple, small children and, you know, pets. And they can't get anyone from Titan to come out and fix their AC unit. And it's this review 
was written a year after their installation was done. So, and they're saying that their AC unit is still not working, that they have been a year in Arizona without AC. And they have a schedule where they have all the jobs planned out and you're behind schedule already as soon as you start. And if there are any problems where you have to come back and fix something or redo something, that's going to the end of the schedule if it's going on anywhere. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful information. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and then check out these other videos on my page.